Breathing in toxic chemicals in the operating room, new research showing it may be equivalent to smoking nearly 30 cigarettes per day, impacting a half a million health care workers per year in the United States. ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee shows us the new technology hoping to clear the air. So this is just a harmless chicken breast. In less than a minute, this clear box is filled with smoke. In the operating room, you'll always smell surgical smoke, but you'll never actually see it because it'll never accumulate. Nick McGinnis works for Stryker, a company specializing in surgical equipment. He says smoke from tools that cauterize or vaporize tissue during surgery can move up to 40 miles an hour and contain hundreds of toxic chemicals even operating room masks can't filter. He says it's equivalent to smoking nearly 30 unfiltered cigarettes a day. The scary thing is that whatever's on that patient's skin, whatever's in that patient's bloodstream is transmitted into the air and then transferred into anybody in the room who's breathing that air. And over the past few years, he says nurses, surgeons, and clinicians have been raising concerns after developing respiratory issues. Rhode Island is now the first state to ban smoke in the operating room by law. This much smoke is generated in just 30 seconds. Imagine how much smoke a nurse is breathing in the OR who's there for six to eight hours a day four to five days a week over the course of a 20 to 30 year career. Some hospitals in the Bay Area are already investing in new technology that catches the smoke and vacuums it out. It never escapes the surgical site and the clinicians in the room are never going to breathe it in. AORN, a professional group for nurses, is hoping more facilities will become smoke-free advocates. Heather Lee, ABC Action News.